So I'm curious, do you guys ever get this kind of reception outside of Keene, New Hampshire, or are they afraid of you in most places? Because Keene, New Hampshire doesn't seem to be afraid anymore. We're sick of it. Is Liberty dying where you live? Escape to Keene at freekeen.com. Here's fat stuff uh, here in Keene, New Hampshire. It's being raided right now by the DEA. Came in with the warrant, basically just said, you, know, you gotta wait outside, we're yeah. taking everything. So you're, we're here with Evan from Fat Stuff, and uh, you weren't here when it happened, but you got called in by the employee who was here. The raid happened right after you opened? Yep, I just came down as soon as I could. I came down here and pretty much the other two employees were just standing outside, just waiting. What, uh, course, the warrant doesn't tell us why, it's a sealed document. So it doesn't give us any reason as to why they're doing this, just the fact that they can't. So the DEA is in there, what are they taking? Do you have any idea? Uh, from the looks of it, it's all the pipes, every piece of glass we have. But their warrant basically says anything, any kind of smoking utensil, they're gonna be taking that. All of our records, receipts, everything like that. How do you feel about it? They won't tell us why. How do you feel about it? No, because here's the thing. My job fucking blows. Uh, we haven't done anything wrong. And Fat Stuff has been open for a long time, hasn't it? There was in Winchester for first. Over ten years. Been here for it's gonna be three years this summer. I'm is this the first four this summer? Is this the first raid of, uh, yep. of any sort? Uh, we do everything we can to basically stay within the law. We're very strict about all our rules. You sell tobacco smoking devices. Yeah. Uh, we're 18 plus, so anybody who walks in the door, we make sure they're 18 with ID. And if anybody basically implies they're going to be using it for any kind of illegal use, we do not sell to them. They covered up the wall. So I noticed they've put up uh, barriers on the windows here. They took the money? Yep. Are you embarrassed about what you're doing, lady? You should be. This is pretty embarrassing. She can't reach that high. <laughs> Why are you ashamed of yourself? We're not ashamed of ourselves. Any little crack is now Poise covered up. Poise to me. Why are you concealing what you're doing rather than sharing it with the public? If this is about public safety, it should be about sharing with the public information, not concealing your faces and concealing what you're doing. That's what gangsters do. Gangsters wear masks. Gangsters don't want people to know about their crimes. If you're not doing anything wrong, you shouldn't have anything to hide. This, this is, is a stealing. public store. You're stealing these people's property and you should be ashamed of yourself. Didn't your mother teach you not to take things that weren't yours? You're using newspapers for censorship. Think about that. Why not just use black curtains? It would be more fitting. And here's one of them now. Let's see if he hurries inside as I approach. Finish that cigarette, honey. Isn't it a little bit ironic that you're back here smoking a cigarette while you take other people's tobacco smoking devices, sir? That's pretty embarrassing. Are you embarrassed about what you're doing today? Why are you bothering me? Why are you stealing people's things? Why am I stealing people's things? Are you here with the DEA? No. What are you here for? That's none of your business. Uh-huh. Sure looks like you're here for the DEA. You're going into the back of this building where there's about a dozen DEA agents who are stealing people's things. Didn't your mother teach you that it was wrong to take things that aren't yours? Didn't your family tell you never to assume? You know what that makes of you. Hmm. Why don't you just tell me what you're really doing then? If you're not taking people's things and loading them into boxes, you guys should be ashamed of yourselves. And there she is. Huh, she's in there with the other agents. How about that? You get a good shot of her face now. These guys are back, this guy's got his balaclava. He just winked at me. U-Haul truck in the back. A uh, man driving the truck is wearing a balaclava. It's the guy with a big beard. Aren't you ashamed of yourself, man? I mean, this is pretty pathetic. Taking people's pipes and stuff. What was so funny earlier? You were laughing about something. You think this is funny, what you're doing to these people? You're just doing your job. Just doing what you're told. You embarrassed about this? You should be.
Hey guys, have you ever had any alcohol before? You ever gotten drunk, guys? It's a little ironic that you're uh, taking people's tobacco smoking devices, but yet many of you even smoke tobacco and or drink alcohol. You guys think of yourselves as heroes today? Looks to me like you're just a bunch of thieves. Is your mother proud of you for taking this job? Didn't your parents ever teach you what stealing is? Take something that's not yours, that's stealing, so that makes you a thief. Grand theft, in fact, I think is what this is. Of course, uh, Keen Police is assisting you rather than arresting you, which is what they should be doing. Heroes, saving the world from pipes. I mean, you guys are ridiculous. Seriously? Sealing the windows and serving search warrants that are sealed. That's almost like secret police. We really don't know why things are being taken from a local business here in Keene, but allegedly the federal government's involved. I mean, I don't feel comfortable knowing that the federal government is raiding local well, businesses. Well, I'd go to the next row. Is that Hey, I heard you guys have been ruining a bunch of people's lives today. I heard you guys raided a bunch of shops all across the, uh, the United States, you DEA folk. Is that true? How does that make you feel? Take, taking away people's livelihood from them. Of course, that's what you guys do best, right? You guys are parasites. That's all you do. You don't actually add anything to the economy. You don't add anything to the world. You just destroy. You destroy people's lives, and you should be ashamed of yourselves. The second paragraph of the Declaration of Independence reads, We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that amongst these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now the reality is, when somebody smokes weed, all they're doing is, is pursuing happiness. So why would you violate the very basic foundation of our country's values, which is that people should be free to pursue happiness in their own way? Does, do you really see a constitutional purpose to what you're doing here today? I can't imagine you took the job to be looking people for tobacco pipes. I mean, when you took the job, it was probably to protect people, but no one's being protected today, no one's being served today. There are real criminals out there that actually hurt people, while the DEA focuses solely on victimless criminal activity. How can it be called a crime if there's no victim? A crime is when one person hurts another or defrauds another. But right now, you're not investigating crime, you're just investigating people trying to whatever consumable they want to use. Hey, it's a masked man. You're a really courageous guy. <laughs> why are you wearing, why are some of you wearing masks? I mean, that's totally ridiculous. This is Keene, New Hampshire. Why would anyone might be trying to hide who they are? Is it Halloween? Is it a celebration? It doesn't seem like it. It seems like people are ashamed of what they're doing and don't want others to see what they're doing. Well, that's a lot of loot, boys. What are you going to do with all that, huh? What do you guys have, warehouses full of this stuff? I mean, it's ridiculous. I heard there was a hundred stores raided today by you cats. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. That's massive stealing, destroying people's lives, ruining businesses. You're putting people out of business, putting people out of jobs while you guys collect fat federal paychecks and sweet benefits, right? And hey, you look like you're in the military, so you've probably taken uh, some kind of a military package. Retirement? Getting a little military retirement, a little uh, double dipping with the DEA now. Hey, Mr. Hero, what's Wait. your name? You guys gonna go celebrate with some beers after this? Yeah! Yeah, get drunk! <laughs> he thinks that's funny. Can't wait to talk about this on the radio tomorrow. That's funny. Funny destroying people's lives. This is hilarious. Ooh, two masked men. Heavy. You guys telling your kids about what you're doing today? Is it okay to tell your kids to steal things? We've got uh, more gang members creeping up behind us, just so you know. Yep. Armed gang members, that's right. That's what you are. Laugh it up, boys. It's hilarious. That's so funny, right?
may peacefully get out of hand. <laughs> there are federal law enforcement officers that do actually help people and go after people who hurt others. Rather than people peacefully doing business in small towns around America. I wonder how many people you guys know that lives you're affecting by doing this. I wonder how many people you're personally affecting that you guys know. Oh, they're not, most of them aren't from around here. It's a lot easier to go and destroy people's lives where you don't know anybody, right? We don't want your services. We don't want your arrests. We don't want your stealing. Why don't you take your criminal activity and get the fuck out of New Hampshire? Yeah. Woo we sleep keen. Peaceful people are welcome here, not people who steal from others. Not people who subsist off of the taxation of others. Find a conscience. I mean, please. I mean, I don't think These are people's lives you're talking about here. You're ruining lives. Oh, look at all those sentinels. Why do you have the right to take their thing? Is this the cartel you're busting here or a small business in Keene? What's that? Oh, yes, yeah, totally illegal for you to steal, but these guys. They can just take a whole store's inventory. Look at that. What are you ashamed? Why are you covering your face? You take Damn right they're ashamed. Undercover agent, Mr. Oh. Beard. I got your picture. You might as well take the mask off at this point, buddy. I wonder how many people's lives that guy's ruined. By To be an undercover agent, that means you are lying to people for a living. You're pretending to be somebody you're not. Boy, how can you live with yourself, man? How can you go to sleep at night? I'd rather live in a more honest and open society, not a secret society. Try to be true to yourself. So I'm curious, do you guys ever get this kind of reception outside of Keene, New Hampshire, or are they afraid of you in most places? Because Keene, New Hampshire doesn't seem to be afraid anymore. We're sick of it. They should have wore all the SWAT gear and the militarized police wear. That, you know, it really that, does make you worry. Maybe that would have made a little more intimidation. Good? Good? No, you're not good. <laughs> you're definitely no. not good. No, you're Nothing about guy. what you've done here That's is good. I don't understand. You're the bad guy. Well, you're stealing people's today, property. Buddy. That's not your property. That's his property. He worked hard to earn that. U.S. out of NH, man. We're sick of this. You're kicking that down our doors, Let's you're breaking into our that. homes, you're shooting our pets. What's the matter with you people? I don't blame you. Yeah. I'd be ashamed too. Yeah. It's fucking ridiculous. I mean, something that they stopped selling, you know, months ago. Like, and they're going to come in and destroy a business, take this guy's job, take, yep. what, four or five other people's jobs. It's exactly what they're going to do. At least $7,500,000 worth of fucking, you know, peace is gone. For something they're going to go sell them and keep the money. Exactly. Probably. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Here, the heroes saving rubber. everyone from pipes. DEA, go home. DEA, go home. DEA, go home. There's better things to do with your life. You're hurting people who aren't hurting anybody. Hey, that makes you the aggressor. Get some morals. You are the aggressor. Fuck you. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck. Your meter's expired. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. So, uh, Evan, right? Yep. What's your uh, assessment of what they all took? I mean, they took all the pipes here from the glass. They took pretty much anything glass. All glass, metal. Metal pipes. Uh, wood, stone. Was it all pipes, or do you think they took some accessories as well? Uh, they took, took some accessories, like our glass on glass adapters. Those are all gone. They're in boxes and shit. They just opened up, tossed open, left all out down here, just like opened up a scale, tossed it open. I don't even know what the fuck this is doing down here. That's my old bag. They took all our papers, wraps, yet all of our restock papers and wraps are all still right here. They took all of our metal pipes except for our dugouts. They took wood pipes except for these two that come in boxes. I see you have a surveillance system here. Yeah, as soon as they came in, they basically asked Matt if we had cameras. He told them yes, pointed where they were, and they unplugged the box immediately. Wow. So there's no footage of them actually in here going through shit. I mean, you it may be hard to estimate, but thousands of dollars of inventory, oh, right? I mean, how many? Easy. The heady pipe 
case had solid thirty thousand dollars worth of glass in it by itself. Wow. And we just restocked on a bunch of stuff, so we were packed. Not a proud moment, Jason. What did I do? Not a proud all moment. All I'm doing is guarding the door. Is that all you're doing? That's it. This Please. isn't our thing. Tell me a little bit more about what's okay. happening here. I can't tell you anything more. I don't know. Why not? It's not my place. You aren't you on the drug task force? I was. You weren't anymore? No. Why? Did you have a pang of conscience and give it up? I I was I haven't been on the drug task force for ten years. Or did you get reassigned? I got reassigned a long time ago. I got you. I was on the drug task force. So uh, would it be the DEA that would have any kind of comment on this the case? The DEA would have to be the one that would comment. Are you sad to see this happen? This is a productive business that's. I've uh, never been in the store before. You've never had any complaints about it, right? Like they haven't ripped anybody off or stolen anything, have they? I don't know of any. Exactly. Just but satisfying their customers, right? I don't know. That shouldn't be illegal, should it? You know better. I want to know how you feel, Jason. <laughs> what I feel don't matter. Yeah, it does. How That's why I asked you. I know. Not a proud day. Very sad. I know. It's an embarrassment. Go ahead, Christine. buddy. Embarrassment for the Keene police. You get across? No, I'm good. Okay. You gotta leave people alone, man. If they haven't hurt anybody else, you guys need to step away. Should have told the DEA, get out of our town. We don't want you here. That, I tell. that would be customer service, Jason. I would like to invite you to visit freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.